So the first thing the customer will see when they open the, the Kaching app inside Facebook is the login screen. So it's uh, a four digit pin, it's your Kaching specific pin, and this is required for each session that you use Kaching and Facebook for. So as well as your usual Facebook login username and password for each Kaching session, we'll require you to input a, a four digit pin as well. But once you've done so, um, you're into, as, as on the smartphone, the first thing you'll see is, is a representation of, of your holdings with this. So in, in a typical view of cards and accounts, or, where you've got your cards listed, we'll show you um, which button at the, at the pause terminal, so check savings in this case, each account is linked with, uh, and the relevant details from that. Again, I can scroll through my accounts, my debit cards, my credit cards, whatever card plastics that we know you have with us. Um, we also have the, the other view, which is your list of account holdings. But again, I can drill down each of these and, and see uh, my recent transactions. So this is not the full detail, the full searchable information that you might want to do in NetBank when you're looking for particular transactions for tax returns, for example. Uh, this is almost to the point of the, the, the frictionless, quick consumption of information. Um, but the, the major pieces that we focused on is the payment side. So within payments, um, I can pay to my friends. I, I, can, I can see some requests, which I'll get to in a moment. But in here, uh, because we're inside Facebook, I can call up any of my friends. Any of my Facebook friends, I can pay to them. Uh, I can also pay to a email address or to a mobile phone number in here. It's, it's all the same infrastructure that we have on the smartphone versions. Um, quickly, I, I can transfer funds between my own accounts as well. So if I, if I want to move money from my savings account into my credit card, I can do so in here as well. But in terms of people payments, um, I can make payments, as I said, to Facebook friends, but also in terms of some of the scenarios Andy mentioned, I can pay to an event. So if Andy set up an event on Facebook, um, for example, I believe, uh, I'll let me find that one first. Um, I, I can pay Andy directly. Um, the first thing to call out is, I'll key in the amount, I'll key in the description, um, and then we have a, a, a true second factor um, out of the Facebook browser authentication method, which is our netcode platform. So I'll, I'll have to key in a six digit netcode SMS, which will be texted to my phone number before that transaction be, can be completed. In this case, it, it tells me the last three digits of the phone number it's been sent to. That's not the phone number that, that I'm expecting the SMS to arrive at. <coughs> I'll call the, our, our call center, our, our direct banking team, and they'll be able to, uh, to tell me what to do next. But assuming I get the net code and everything's um, ready for me to pay, once I actually pay Andy, if Andy's registered for the service, uh, which in this case, in this demonstration, he's not, the payment would go straight through. If not, if he's not a user, I need to share the, the six character payment code with him. I'm going to have some choices in here. I can, I can send Andy a private message. I can post to his timeline, which will appear on his public wall. Um, or again, I could choose to do so in the band. I can pass it to him verbally. I can send him a text message. Basically, it's, 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 it's consumer choice. Um, and once the payment has been made, or once Andy has, has collected the payment and he's doing so, it's done in real time. So the value transfer is in real time. If I, if I quickly jump back to, to payments as well, you, you may remember that there was some requests in here. So Andy, for example, has just called me a cheapskate, um, and he's asking for $20. Once he sent me that request through his, his version of Kaching in Facebook, it'll appear in my, my request page in real time. And again, I can choose to pay him that money, I can change that amount, I can change the description, um, and I'll get to it later, but we'll be able to see where each of those are, are managed and tracked. And he did touch on GIFs. Um, within GIFs, we, we've, we've set up a, a fairly simple interface, but if I'm paying a, a, um, an amount of cash to somebody, so for example, um, a congratulations, or, or for an anniversary, or for a birthday, this is, this is really the start of user-generated content within, within the Ching app on Facebook. So, so once I choose one of these methods and I make a payment, it'll come up with a, a specific um, content that I can I can pay, uh, sorry, a specific content that I can post on as well. So um, I won't do so because it will appear in the public pool. But 
with one side of my fit confirm and the payment's gone gone through, again I can I can choose to post this is the iconography that will appear on, on Andy's Facebook page. So I don't have to do so, again, if it's share or cancel in this case. Um, and again, the, the two methods are always there. I can post to Andy's timeline or I can send him a private message. Both of these are through the Facebook open graph interactions. Um, so we, we have, we're, we're plugged directly into Facebook in terms of their social interactions. But as Andy mentioned, uh, Michael mentioned, all of this, your communications in here are directly with Combank. We're not going through Facebook servers or infrastructure here. Payment request is where, in, in the previous example, Andy has called me a cheapskate and asked for some cash. Um, in this, this is really a request for value. So I'm, there is no actual value exchanging place here. Uh, sorry, uh, exchanging. Um, but basically, because we're doing so, I could post a timeline or I could send him a message. But there's no netcode step up required here because this is an exchange of information. This is for those people that say they're going to split the bill at lunch and then conveniently forget they owe you the money at lunch. You can just send them a, straight from your Facebook page, just send them a reminder and say, hey, you owe me 50 bucks for lunch. What sort of friends do you have? Like you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Again, um, we also have the ability in here if, if Andy's not using the app, so we can invite him to the app, or, or the, the customer can choose to do so by sending him an invite. What if they're not going to so if they're not a Commonwealth Bank customer, it's the same as the smartphone experience in terms of payments. They'll have to collect the payment. In terms of requests, because we're inside the, the Facebook open graph, uh, they'll still get the payment request. They'll need to, to obviously to sign up a new machine in order to affect that payment. Um, but anybody can get the request for, for, for me to pay them back. Because we're not actually exchanging value. It, it's, it's an exchange of information. The, um, you know, we, we've constantly looked at this idea that if you don't bank with us you should still be able to use this so we've done that in a very light touch way the interesting thing for us is that uh, you know if you, if you think about an aggregate there's four over four million active users in Australia with us uh, on NetBank and on Kaching now so we do we do have enormous scale in which to implement this and make it very very viable for our customers uh, this is the the, uh, the final tab we have, or the, or the final tab. So within payment history, this is a history of all the payments that I've made and all the requests that I've, I've sent um, or, or been sent. So in the case where Andy has requested funds on me, again, not just in the payment screen, but I will see it in here. So I can choose to make that payment and I'll be, I'll be taken straight into that instruction when I can execute it. Um, this is the history of all of your peer-to-peer -peer payments on Kachin since it began so you will actually be able to see not just the payments that you made within Facebook in here but anything you've done on the smartphone as well bump payments you've made Th this full history is um, is going back to, to since the customer started using the service